Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's been a while, but we, we just wanted to make a quick video, give you guys an update. Uh, so baby O is, what, eight weeks now? Over eight weeks. Over eight weeks, and uh, oh, Sash went yeah. in for... Her appointment, because Corinne had back-to-back -back appointments today. Oh. So this was like the two-month checkup for the baby. You're okay. With the pediatrician. Yeah, so I gave Gordon like cliff notes on Messenger, but I could talk about it with him here, and then he can react, I guess. So we went there, um, and then the medical assistant finally got her name right. And then, um, so the first thing basically that I always do is wash my hands, and then I take her out of her car seat, put her onto the table, and you have to undress her. So I undress her waited a bit before I took off her diaper and then transferred her to the scale so that she wouldn't pee. We put her on the scale and then got her weight, which is 13 pounds and 13 ounces. So she is in the 98th percentile of her weight. So she's healthy. So those people who keep calling her fat, you can be quiet now. Um, and then after like uh, the medical assistant input her weight on the computer. She peed everywhere. I was like, I am so sorry. I was like, I waited for her to pee. She And then after, she was crying because she was hungry, so I fed her. And then um, the doctor came in after that. And just, well, we did that, got her height, and she is 23.75 inches, which is in the 93rd percentile, so she tall. And then got her head circumference. I believe that was in the 70 something percentile. I don't remember. I just paid no attention to the height and weight. Yeah. What do you think about that? Cool. I mean, that was one of our concerns because it seems like she was growing so fast. And I, I guess we were not wrong. She is growing quickly. Um, at this point, you know, she is in like size th like three month clothes, even though she's two months old. Mm -hmm. So just to give you like perspective, I guess, of, yeah. of that. Um, but that's, that's good. I'm glad everything came back healthy. And yeah. yeah and then the doctor came in said hi and then she's like what are your concerns and then i looked at my notes one of the concerns was the weight thing and the height thing so then that she's the one who told me the percentile she's like your baby's fine then she goes who's telling you your baby's fat i was like um older relatives they're like you do you like feed her too often i'm like she's hungry i'm gonna feed her when she's hungry and then she's like your baby's fine she's doing so well she's healthy and then the doctor goes you know just to let you just to let you know um or like just you're so you're aware in months four and between months four and six she'll actually gain more weight which is normal because you know they're they're not very active but then after that period when she starts like rolling over and crawling she'll lose the weight so it's like a bell curve it's good um that part's good then the other concern i had was i a few weeks ago I noticed her the back of her head was a bit flat so i was telling her i was like could you please look at her head make sure the shape is fine she's like just looking at it right now it looks very mild very fine but i will take a closer look up at it so she looked at it and yeah she's like it's normal um it'll continue to go to its normal shape like even if it's a little flat right now as it is it'll go to normal shape yeah and she was born Cone yeah, she had a cone head. So a few days after she was born, it went away. But I was born corn cone head too, so same. Um, how do you feel about that update? It's good. It's good to be here. Um, and then the other thing that I had, or the other question I had, was she has white dots on the roof of her mouth. So you know, being first time mom, paranoid, reading books and on the internet, but mostly books, my doctors and stuff. Um, I'm talking to other moms. I was afraid it might be the, a yeast infection like I had talked about in the last video where if she has a yeast infection she could pass it on to me through breastfeeding and vice versa but um, it's not. It's, um, I forgot, it starts with the letter E, postules. I'll type it in, the be in below but it's normal for babies to have it on their cheeks, on their gums, and the roof of their mouth. I think it's like Epstein pearls or something like that. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Wait. Oh, and then let's see what else. I asked about congestion because yeah. she's pretty congested, and the doctor was like, "Oh, that's pretty normal because as you know, her um, body is still developing more and more. Like her nose is doing it. Basically, her system's doing the job where they're like, "Hey, breast milk, you're not supposed to come up this high," which is why they're creating like boogers and stuff. So that part's fine. 
and then we talked about her sleeping habits. She's like, so how's the baby sleeping? Where's the baby sleeping? I was like, ah, it's a funny story about that. It has to do with the congestion. I was like, because it was a concern of mine that I messaged a nurse on my chart on the health app. Um, I was like, the nurse basically said, feed her, burp her, and then have her propped up for like 30 minutes before putting her down to bed. So I was like smiling because I was kind of embarrassed. I was like, yeah, so we burp her, then we like lay her, prop her up on a pillow on our bed. She usually falls asleep on there. And then we put her to the best knit. And she's like typing. I was in my head, I'm like, am I being judged? And she's like, oh, that sounds like a lot of work. But good, good, good. I was like, phew, okay. So what we're doing is good. She says everything that you and I are doing is a lot of work. Like how we're sleep, making her, making sure she's not congested and how we put her sleep, how we're feeding her with bottle or breastfeeding bottle formula and pumping. That's a lot of work. She's basically say, said that we do a lot of work. There's a lot of extra work, but if it works for us, it's fine. So but we might want to revisit that. Um, yeah, so those were my concerns. And then she got three shots, two on her left leg or left thigh and one on her right thigh. And then she had an oral one. Um, so I didn't know this. So I'm telling you guys this so you don't make the same mistakes I did. Um, earlier, you can tell, um, one second, one second. Oh yeah, sorry. So I want to tell you this so you guys don't make the same mistake I did. Remember how I told you earlier in the appointment I fed her because she was hungry? Um, don't feed your baby until like, you know, maybe an hour before your appointment or after your appointment because I fed her and they gave her the oral meds. It was like this tube. She only ended up um, like swallowing a third of the tube, which is okay, says the doctor, since she's going to get it again at her uh, fourth and sixth month checkup. But basically the rest of the, the two thirds of the tube, she threw it up. Cause like she already eaten, she burped a little, but I guess her stomach was so full that that put her over the top and she threw it up. So she threw up all over me in addition to peeing everywhere. And I was by myself, but the medical assistant's like, oh no, you threw up all over mommy. Mommy doesn't have to change your clothes. I was like, I have something in the car. She's like, of course you do. I forgot you and Gordon are planners. And then, oh, at the beginning I forgot. She was like, I was so happy. I was thinking about you guys and I was like, it's been a while since I saw you guys because she's like, I don't check the schedule ahead of time. And then today I just called you and you're here. It makes me so happy. She's so cute. I was like, yay. Um, but yeah, so that was that. So don't feed your baby unless, or at the, during the appointment, either feed them before or after so that they don't throw up like she did. Cause I was concerned. I was like, um, did she get enough of the medicine, you know? But yeah, so how do you feel about that part? Um, I mean, it is what it is. It happens. Doctor said it's normal. Lesson learned, so it's okay. Yeah. yeah, but when she got her shots, the first one, so uh, the medical assistant basically put her legs to hold her, her, her thigh to hold her legs down, and then I, I have to hold her arms. Um, she, she like stuck her with the needles like really quickly. As soon as the first one hit, baby all turned so red. She was so angry and like, in so much pain I guess where she so red she started to cry but she couldn't let a sound out it hurt that much um and then basically side effects and doctor what the doctor said was she may be extra fussy within the next 12 to 48 hours um diaper changes might cause her to cry more because of her thighs are being are really sore um she also said I recommend that you get baby Tylenol just in case monitor her temperature if she has a fever call us and let us know and then it's okay to give um three ml of baby tylenol cool but yeah she's healthy no complications doctor's happy yeah cool. that's all all right well hope you guys are doing well talk to you guys soon Bye. <laughs>